guys welcome to my channel SMG Institute hopefully you are all fine today we are going to learn about EPS what is EPS in Primavera P6 and how we can create EPS in Primavera P6 so before start this lecture I request you guys please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so you can get notification of every latest video on your notification bar and also I request you Please don't skip the video, see this video till end so you are able to understand better the concept of EPS and you are able to create EPS in Primavera P6 successfully. So here I open Microsoft Word document for your better understanding. You can also note this definition on your notebook. EPS stands for Enterprise Project Structure. So basically EPS are hierarchical nodes where we can create and store projects. Dear students, I give you example, uh, you know uh, better. When we are working in multinational companies and at the same time we can manage a lots of projects. So EPS give us opportunity and very awesome uh, tool in Primavera P6 by making EPS we easily categorize our projects in different folders so it's very easy we can summarize different projects in nodes so basically EPS enterprise project structure is very helpful for us to uh, categorize our project and uh, uh, summarize our project in nodes so now uh, I'm going to close this document Sometime now, I here I open the Primavera P6 19.2 version. You can also download Primavera P6 as link is given in description. So, on Primavera P6 dashboard, you can see here enterprise option. Just click on this, and a drop down window will be open, and you can see here enterprise project structure just click on this and a new window will be open from here you can zoom in or zoom out easily ok enterprise all initiatives just click on like previous lecture click on add button from these four button you can move left right up down ok here I just add the ID of EPS like a first I add my company name here I add my company name Now again click on this add from ok you can move ok here a1 here engineering department Again click from here, click on add button, from here you can, ok, B1, ok, from here you can move, right, ok here, you can add construction, construction department,
here I add procurement department department can add here one more department like administration department administration department okay and here is uh, some extra yes i'm going to delete and from here I am going to assign OBS as in previous lecture we learn about organizational breakdown structure in very detail click here wait now I am going to assign OBS responsible manager as we uh, learn about OBS in very detail in previous lecture from you can see here responsible manager you can click on here and a new window will be open from here you can select EBC company responsible manager ok and click on here engineering department and from here you can assign Again, click here, click here, and assign. Okay. Again, move here. Again, click here, and from here, and select. Okay. And you can see here after making. EPS in Primavera P6 we assign responsible manager okay now like we do some basic settings in uh, OBS window we same like here we can click on display EPS chart view you can see here okay and click here and you can see here I collapse all the EPS in one again click on this plus button again click here display EPS and from here arrange vertical and you can see here easily ok click here ok and you can see here go here arrange center ok again here ok you can see here easily some basic settings now again click display EPS and now I am going to zoom you can see very clearly again go to table view and now responsible manager and you can see here responsible manager column also shown here only EPS click on ok from here you can add column responsible manager again click here and from here you can easily table and found and row and from here you can change background color ok apply ok that's fine again click here and you can see 
chart view option there's a lots of option also available left then summarize here okay dear students you can see here we can do some basic settings so if you like my videos i request you please share with other don't forget to comment because it's very good opportunities for you guys you can by comment in comment box you can communicate with me you can question me don't feel hesitate to question me in comment box i request you please share with other comment subscribe press bell icon get notification of every latest videos many thanks